Welcome to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. I'm Nye, that's Trance, that's Space. And I am Hello. waiting for the final uh, Ixotokan Discovery that we can access right now. The uh, Golden Airplane, which has a tendency to fly extremely high just uh, below the cloud layer. It actually has been whizzing around. I've been trying to spot it, but it's not giving me a chance. Have you tried setting out net traps? You'd be amazed how much that doesn't work. There it is. I, it's right in front of me. Let's go hunt that thing down. So when we go look at my bounties later on, you guys will see that there actually is a bounty supposedly here that's active. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be active. I don't think you can get it until uh, much, much later in the game. But I'm not quite sure why it says it is active. It's kind of a first for me. Uh, you're talking about the Ixitakin... Uh, the trio, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, not currently flying around, which, but the bounty thing says they're active. From what I, I recall, think you need to wait for uh, X event. Yeah. From what cool I recall, event. you also have to beat the bounties in order. You can't skip. There it is. It's just within range. This is Wings of Gold. That's actually based on something. That's based on little models that some hunters found on, uh, you may have seen them on Ancient Aliens. But they're little tiny figurines. Nope. It's supposed to be a fish, but Ancient Aliens is like, it's clearly an airplane. Okay, so this, there was a gate right here earlier prior to us beating the Valuans. They have escaped through it. Next, to find the one I... This is going to be the probably the hardest uh, discovery for me to find. It's about here-ish. I think... Wait, I can't remember if it's north or south of this island right here. Hold on. No, it's north of this island. See this big empty space between me and the next island? There's a discovery somewhere in here. And hopefully I'm just going to stumble upon it, because it's always a pain in the ass to find. Glinda... There's actually a bunch of discoveries for us to get before we move on. There's actually an abnormal amount of discoveries in this area, honestly. Because there's nothing here. I mean... This is not a city, it's not a town, there's no storyline relevance to the area we're in, it's just kind of there. There's one event that happens halfway through and then we move on. I mean, it's... <coughs> that uh, makes a lot of sense, actually. Because it's massively depopulated, none of the discoveries would have been discovered, which is why they're so dense. Well, I mean, video, not... like, game-wise, there's no reason for there to be so many discoveries here. But that is the reason why. Because nobody's already discovered them, yeah, I mean, obviously you're not going to find something that other people have already found. That'd be stupid. Gameplay design-wise. Signposts. The signposts are the exception because <laughs> they're teaching you how it works. Actually, the teaching you how it works was the pirate's grave all the way in the first episode. And moonstone deposit. And, moon, yeah. What was it the second episode? Oh, no. Oh, do we lose Lies. him? Do we lose him? No. What? Hello? What's up? There, okay, he's here. All of a sudden, I just... I, I couldn't hear you anymore, so I'm like, oh, crap, Trance blew up again. Explosion. No, I'm man. getting a glass of water. So Explosion, man. That was a good reason to get 360. Mm -hmm. Explosion. That was a good reason. Explosion, man, Actually, was a good game. everything made by them is a good reason. The Maw, even though it's on uh -huh. PC now. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. i to remember the third one they made. They made something else that was really Donuts. good. Donuts. Go nuts! Uh, they made Mrs. Explosion Man. Yeah, the one after that. that like I just got it somewhere, but I can't remember. Okay, while I'm here, anyways, let's go up here because there is a discovery right here. The Willow Wisps. <laughs> They're just swamp gas. And they're actually one... I think they're the only... Uh, technically, that particular uh, discovery repeats itself. There is another Will-o'-the-Wisps in the game. 
It has a completely different description. It has a like different reasoning for the thing. But oh, that's the, the one that's underneath. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's because it's called something else. It's called like the Sailor's Lights or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But it's the very same model. It's the very same thing. I think it's blue because the difference, like light yeah. blue. Well, it was like yellow because that one's white. Fish, fish, fish. Yeah. So I'm trying to find this freaking. It, it's an entire island, but it's invisible, and there's a very specific spot you have to hit to get this discovery. The problem is, I don't want to give Domingo a chance to catch it, so I'm gonna have to spend some time finding it. <clears throat> the problem is not even the maps. Like, this is the one a lot of people have trouble with. Not even the maps will show you where it is. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I don't remember. I it's crop map. circles. Hmm. Take your word for it, because I haven't played the game recently enough to be confident when I say that's bullshit. <laughs> like if you pull if you pull up that map of yours, I can point to exactly which one it is, but <laughs> Okay. Where is my It's between these two islands, I know that. With as many times as I've, I've beaten this freaking game, you'd think I'd be able to find this thing easier. Oh, here's the rock's nest. Rock's nest. Like, if you look at the picture on the left, it shows you how big this is compared to a human. It's gigantic. So this guy, this might, this might take a little while. Like, I'd off-screen this, but I want to show exactly where this thing is. I can't even remember where elevation-wise it is. I hate the rose elms. Oh, these freaking flowers need to go away. Roslins? I don't know what they're called. I don't Ros know how to pronounce that. Rose they elms. do a whole lot of two continents next to each other that aren't, you know, like intermediary continents. Yeah. <sighs> it's annoying. I gotta say, those enemies look kind of silly. Yeah. Some of the enemies actually just, they look silly, they don't look scary at all. Hey, oh no, giant demon flower. <laughs> giant demon radishes. Well, if you go into like the, if you go into uh, the uh, Amazon jungle, there's some giant man-eating flowers in there. I think what's more amusing is that it's being accompanied by a pair of evil strawberries. That is a point. Evil strawberries. What's more, we're not even cutting it in half. Like, it's not doing anything. We did it! Okay. I really do think this game could do it with a high-definition remake. That it would just be amazing. If you heard about my new indie band, A Patch of Evil Strawberries. <laughs> what was the indie band that... I know it was like an, it, we hot new... yoohoo. That was that was the band name my work came up with today. Was we have this new coffee machine and it comes with all these individual flavor cups and there's the hot chocolate one and I made it. And it's like it's like milk and chocolate or it's water and chocolate syrup. Like there steamed. it is, found it. Thank Hooray! you, God. Uh, one time took me 45 <laughs> minutes to find this thing. You found a thing. The mysterious so said, rings. Uh, said this hot chocolate tastes like a hot yoohoo. <laughs> and my boss was like, "That's my band name, Hot Yoohoo." <laughs> Okay, to show you where this thing actually is, hold on a second. It's behind me, actually. There it is. So this is not a small island. This is actually rather large. But you have to be in a very specific dun, place to dun, catch it. Dun, 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 dun. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. This is not Pokemon. Stop it. But it should be. Hmm? Hmm? What, do you want me to catch the Rose Elm and attack other pirates with it? Yes, is the answer. Yes, topiary. Why would you? <laughs> why would you even ask that if it's not possible? You're letting down all your viewers, you horrible, horrible person. Quick, guys! Evil strawberry spin dash attack. Ha! I counter with Gopher of Doom. Use dig. 
With what? Everything's sky. There is no land. Did you say use dick? I said use dick. Uh, and he's you, yeah. it's digging a hole in the sky. Because this makes uh, perfect that's sense. Interesting. That's why it's a gopher of doom. When it uses dig, it does it by ripping a hole in the fabric of existence. They already have an attack that does that. <laughs> it's one of the few times Skies actually does the, um... Wait, no, what am I saying? Few. Vice does it, that's the thing. Okay, for those who are looking for this... Go to the Will-O-The-Wisps. Fly south at that same level, and you will find it. Okay, now that we've done that, moving on. Now I move to this rock. And if you just cruise over the top of it... Oh, is it this rock? Maybe it's not this rock. I was pretty sure there's one on this rock. But there's two rocks that look exactly alike, so... Rocks. Actually, before I, before I continue going north, I'm gonna go south, because there's two of them to the south. Guys, this might be an all-discovery episode. If it is, I'm sorry. Well, at the very least, you know, we're farming. Oh, so bad. Because I need money and stuff right now, uh huh. And stuff. And stuff. Okay, if you go south, you can kind of see in the distance, it's a little bit fast, it's, it's a little bit fast, that tornado looking thing over there is actually a tornado, and we're gonna chase it. Storm chasers, eat your heart out. Nerd. <laughs> I am chasing a flying trinado in my flying ship. All they have is a freaking truck. Uh, I saw the Mythbusters episode where they tested, like, the crazy cool new Storm Hunter vehicle they had or whatever, and it was pretty good. It was pretty cool. Oh, apparently, like some someone just posted on a. Uh, one of our one of the comments for one of the other episodes exactly what the death sounds are for everybody. Apparently, uh, Aka's comment is not like this. Isn't that what I said? I said jokingly though, like I was referencing like Star Wars, like not like this. I don't know. So, you, you had a weird voice, and so I kind of I guess like, I was ignored right. you. That's not frequent. Uh, nai. Yeah. We're not there, you go. I was checking that email. It said it was a comment, so I want to see what it was. Yeah, your face. Face. <laughs> Fiend just learned Pyrulin. Okay. I'm still trying to catch up with this thing. There is another discovery to the south, which is actually why I'm chasing it. Otherwise, I would just wait for, for it to come back to us. Because it is kind of fast. But there's so many of these things. Apparently, Cutlass Fury just rips them in half, though. So we're going to keep using that. Who knows, I actually may be able to do a bounty in this episode, too, without it going too long. Oh! Yes, there is a bounty here. I didn't think anything was too long for you, Patrick Bow Wow. Colonic perforation is no joke. I have no witty comeback to that because I can't stop giggling. That's horrible. Okay, I think it's about to juke right. Here it comes. And... Juke. And this is the Triclone. A Tricyclone. I think Triclone would have been a better name. Da, 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 da. In the center lies the treasure of a thousand air pirates. No, Aka, down, girl! 
Okay, there is actually another one right over here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, because it is actually below the lowest point I can go. Make like a limboist. Like a, lim a limboist at uh, carnival time? At as low as limbo stakes get. I used to know a guy who was so good at limbo, he could limbo his way under a carpet. <laughs> then he died. Yeah, apparently spines are not meant to bend that way. <coughs> oh, no, he got hit by a Mack truck. Ah, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, you. Apparently he could limbo under the carpet, but not under the mat. No, he Mac tried. But, uh, you know, those truck nuts are a real hazard, especially if you don't see him coming. Took his head clean off. Truck nuts? Yeah. You never Come seen them? That. Yes, I've seen truck nuts. Yeah, well, at 60 miles per hour, you know, it's it's the only known case of a terminal teabagging. Yeah, there are rednecks around here. I've seen those damn things. I remember seeing yeah. them the first time in Colorado, and I went, seriously, dude? No, first I went, the fuck is that? And then I went, seriously, dude? And it was driven by a woman. Actually, yes. Only because women it was them. Because it was Colorado, and we went, well, that's kind of normal. Okay. Speaking of, viewers, I don't know when you'll see this, or if it's when it's uploaded, but if you're in the states of Colorado, Washington... For total chaos, weed is now legal in your state. Starting December 6th, don't get doped up too much. And remember, only an ounce or less. It's actually been the case for Colorado for a number of years, actually. There were uh, medical marijuana sections in Colorado uh, before I left. This is recreational marijuana. Yeah, this is recreational mm -hmm. legalization. Hmm. However, it is still against federal law, so be a little careful. You know, don't get caught by a state trooper with your stash. The problem is in Colorado, you know, for six months out of the year, everything's white, so no one notices. Well, oh, this is, oh that's this racist. Is marijuana we're talking about, so. Trans, it snows in Colorado. The hell is wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? Are you talking about cocaine? Because that's still illegal. You're making fun of the albinos, you sick bastard. Trance. Colorado is 99.7% Mexican now, actually, but... um, That's racist. Actually, it's not. They're skipping New Mexico. They're going to Colorado now, uh, lately. The Latino Whoa. community, especially around Pueblo, has skyrocketed. Woo! Woof! We'll Man, all this talk about Mexican food. Oh, oh God. Well. You ever have a... I forget what they're called. You take a roasted poblano pepper and you stuff it with cheese and... Oh, my God, that's oh, no, good. Oh, no, not cheese. Ground beef. Mmm, ground yeah, beef is good, too, but... The one I know is uh, stuffed with cheese and... Oh... Oh okay. God, it's good. What, one of those Rosellens I had not damaged yet. They have they have soaked ten thousand damage Cutlass Furies, but a six hundred damage Rain of Swords kills it. Oh hello. What is with me? This LP and rare drops. Victory mail is a good thing. It's a rare drop. Nice. Like some of these are drops I've never seen before. <sighs> Holy damn. Like you, uh, humming a humming a hot butter like ball the, sacks. Um, uh, storm storm edge, right? Storm edge was a thing you hadn't seen. Yeah, like some of these are items I have never had drop for me, and that is the third one. The hell is with this? The game sees that I've beaten it like six times, and so it goes, "Okay, well now you can have the good stuff." It's because you switched there... these. Mm. I played on the GameCube before. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna... It's, it's in this area, but I'm not sure if it's worth getting right now. I can get it later. Because it's... Given that it's technically out of my uh, out of my catch range, um... Uh, Domingo will not find it. What item? What? Uh, it's the funnels. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, his ship, like, t technically, my, my, I'm not even supposed to be able to reach it, as far as I can tell. It's just within range for where we are. Uh, we get an upgraded ship later on that will be able to reach this thing. Domingo will never have that ship, so he would never be able to find it. Well, I mean, it won't be his, but... No, Domingo's the only one that finds stuff. Well, what I'm saying is that, I mean, Domingo will eventually have the capability of going there. <laughs> Fine. In the same way that Galcian will eventually be dead, and Fina and Vice will eventually be married, yeah. Well, given enough times, all good things will come to a close. Including doors. No, doors are the one exception. Okay, fine. Doors will eventually become jars, I understand. Curious? Yes. You people say weird things? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can- I'm insane! I'm gonna see if I can find this thing one more time, and then we're continuing north. I, don't, I can't remember if this is one of the ones that's visible, or if it's invisible till you find it. You guys, if you think you're tired of fighting these enemies, believe me. They're not tired, they haven't fought any. They're a little tired of watching you fight them, though. Yeah, if you're tired of watching me fight these things... You should see how much we've off-screened. For every one fight you see, we had to slog through 1,200. The encounter rate in this game is a bit over -tuned. Yeah, I mean, Trance, making, Trance, no was jo Trance was joking about me chipmunking and not doing enough of it, but seriously, I've been, like, skipping fights for you guys. It only sounds like we're having cohesive conversations throughout the entirety of the thing because I'm really good at editing. It's true. See, actually, right there, Trance said, it's true that you're a dick, but, uh, yeah. Jeez, we were talking about that an hour ago. How the hell did you do the callback? What, do you keep notes? No, 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 see, now I'm going to do a call forwards. Whatever. Okay, apparently this thing is not visible, so we're going to skip it, because I can't remember where it is. But all I can think is... So the proctologist da, no. says, rectum, da, no, no. I damn near... Oh god, da, no, da, oh god, da, no, da, no, he's blinding in! Orderly, What? You guys make no sense. If you look at the picture on the screen, all you can see of us is the mast right now. So I was well, I got just, your yeah. yeah, I got your joke. Yeah, mine is just—it's a classic joke, an alternate end to the half a joke that ends in anal vor. Folks, if you don't know what that phrase means, do yourself a There's favor a and never joke. Google it. I'm not associating myself with this conversation. So there is the giant throne. Hooked up to the, uh, giant sewer system, and finally ending in the giant pile of yuck. Man, I knew that's where that was going, too. Like, I, I didn't even yeah. have to... I went giant throne, and I went, yep, here it comes, here comes trance, and there it is. My sense of humor as predictable as it is fucked up. Mm hmm Huh. Okay. nearby. We vent nearby. How what now? I mean, there is an event nearby. But that's to the northwest. Nah, he's talking about Guild Wars. Oddly enough, it's specific to my game too. I okay, we're gonna cruise on Guild north, Wars. and before we continue, we're going to heal up, and we're done. And then we're gonna go... Uh, that's not the ship I want to fight. This is the ship I want to fight. Word. That one. The giant pink spiky dildo. The bloodlust. Mm -hmm. That actually looks kind of cool. The bloodlust? Yeah. <laughs> Gordo? That's who this is, right? Gordo? Yeah, it's Gordo. 
that's the uh, that's the captain. What? What? What is that? That that's not a human. That's oh god, it's the blob. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. He's eating everybody up in here. All uh, right. I see. No, seriously, watch, watch, watch him masticate this. Ready? Watch this. Masticate this. Masticate. Like he just pops that into his mouth whole and just swallows. He attacks other uh, other uh, others and steals their food. I love that. He doesn't use his cannons because he's afraid he's gonna burn the food. <laughs> so this is one of the few times that it's not actually a ship to ship battle with an, uh, with another named ship. I like Vice's answer to this. Well, we might as well kick their butts. This is one of the easiest boss fights in the game. I remember it can get tricky if you let his ninjas get out of hand, his ninja chefs. Well, that's why you kill them first. Yeah. Mm, yes. Years. Like, seriously, just focus on the ninja chefs first, because they're the actual problems. But, I mean, you have health them with one attack, so... This is the problem, though. They do this area of effect damage, but honestly, 155, really? It's a shame that Vice is faster than her now. Look, Vice is fi fencing off three of them with no problem. I mean, that just says everything. And Goro's just sitting back there. He attacks with a knife and fork. Because he's hog boss. Those guys look like they're dancing to some music that only they can hear. Uh, well, I'm fighting to music only I can hear. Man, we're missing a point of interest. Where is it? Man, I hate this. Of course, I killed the one, the one chef that's already gone. I mean, you can see how not seriously I'm taking this fight. Ninja Chef 2 down. He smacked me with a frying pan. Clunk. Sick tramp. Now, Gordo is one of the reasons this game should not get an HD remake. <laughs> yeah. I'm reminded of that one boss in Diablo 3. If you've played it, you know exactly which one I mean. You know a boss he's not as bad as, as far as being grotesquely obese, is, uh... Uh, you fight, uh... Oh, I forget his name. You fight some governor, some ancient Roman governor in Jericho. And he's, like, this huge, huge obese guy suspended by meat hooks. And you fight him, and it's... It's... I think that's a fight in Overlord, too. No, Overlo uh, Overlord, it was a, uh... Uh, halfling. Yeah, but uh, more like half a tonling. I still appreciate uh, that game for all of its jokes. It was a very good, very silly game. I don't know what game it, it is. Overlord. Overlord. It's basically Evil Pikmin. Yeah. Oh, it came out for Xbox. Yeah, I remember that game. It's actually on the PC now. I haven't tried it yet, but so I we, just we get a free champ out of that, guys. But this is a required fight. You can't actually skip this, so you're not going to miss it. I always loved how, with Overlord, it's the only game I've ever played where you can set sheep on fire and they run around setting other things on fire because they're basically wicks. That's because you never played Age of Empires 2. Or no, was it uh, Rome Total War? Rome Total War. That was it. 
I wouldn't know. I've never played it because I'm shit at RTS games. So That's we have exactly a little bit what of, I just said. We have a little bit of background going on on Drachma now. It was to avenge your son. I think it was uh, Trance who leaked that little bit of information earlier, but... He looks like that, and he's after a whale. It's always, I've got to avenge my son, or, you know, my daughter was taken by those bastards and fed to him, or, or some shit like that. I love like the that. reaction from the, three, from the three heroes in just a second. Just that they straighten up and... Oh, aye aye. <gasps> Just one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ravaging pirate hat, sweet loot. Oh my, that should be in here. Minded of the best item in D and D, the Admiral's bicorn. I'm just gonna back away for. Actually, you know what? Fine, we'll engage. Because we got a little bit of time before we need to cut this off, and we actually do need to have a couple of ship to ship random battles in order to get the uh, uh, Sky King. Or, no, it's Sky King. I forget which title it is. But... Uh, yeah, Vice Sky Battle King or something no, like that. Sky King Battle, of Sky Battles. Sky Battle King is for the uh, four optional Sky Battle bosses. Right, and this is required for that. One moment. Oh, is it, is it four Sky Battle bosses and random battles for that one? I thought that was a different title entirely. Honestly, at this point, guys, this is not like an interesting fight at all. It's just something we're just going to do. But if you check the sky color, you can tell exactly where we are right now. Is it France? It's France, isn't it? Well, if you base that on some of the characters that are around here, yeah. That ship you're going up against really looks badass. Doesn't it? The Valuan ships actually, the, the random ships actually do look like actual, like, scary battleships. I don't it, know how to feel about this. What's up? My pizza came in a black box. Hmm. It's anyway, to retain the point, yeah, Valuan, uh, Valuan battles are awesome. Mm -hmm. They look like very solid very threatening ironclads, which is yeah. what they are. That is exactly what they are. Well, except for the very threatening bits, because that's not at all true. You know, it's actually kind of interesting about this, how all the battles seem to be about, you know, getting alongside them and whatnot, when really, one of the best strategies, if not the best, would be to attack from another angle, like the top, where there's almost no armor. It would the be, reason... but there are no vessels in the game, I don't believe, that can shoot downwards. Yeah, the, right, no vessels cause... really do that. Um... Well, there's the reason for this. Psychologically, humans are have an extremely difficult time thinking in a three-dimensional plane, to the point where orienting themselves for such combat is just mind-blowing. This is a major plot point in something else, where there's this unbeatable sky pirate, and no one can fucking down him until some genius figures out his entire attack plan, is he's attacking on a 15 degree angle. Cool. Mm -hmm. No one ever thought to just orient their ships that way. Speaking of sky pirates... We badly need to try that uh, Wings of Icarus game. That looks so badass. I'll buy into it when I can. Okay, let's finish this. Yeah, Wings of Icarus, guys. You get to play. It's a steampunk airship to airship, and when I say airship, I don't mean like this. I mean freaking dirigibles. Airship to airship, uh, team-based. Basically, Team Fortress. Only steampunk on airships. Yep. Only for hipster gamers. 
you totally get to fly the things too. Like it's not just it's on a like like on a set on rail thing like it is here. From what I could see from the previews, you actually do steer the ship. You need to too. It's a very important part of maneuvering. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do have uh, one more discovery, and it should be right here. Oh, wait, no. Am I too far north? Oh, no, I'm not far enough. I'm not far enough north. Okay. What was it over on this one? One second. No, no, no okay. Yeah, I'm going definitely west. not far enough north. Okay. Well, I just wanted to verify, because if I go too far north, uh, that's not good. I don't want to go too far north. Pardon to choose. Look at the last uh, two discoveries here, and then we'll cut the episode. Don't worry, guys. Next episode, there will actually be action and adventure. On the high seas. Skies. High skies? High sky Upper seas. clouds. Sky seas. I don't care how stupid that sounds. Sky seas. It, it, it sounds pretty freaking stupid, too. I don't care. Sky seas. Actually, that almost sounds like something you'd declare in a bet. You know, no skysies or something. No, it sounds like BD. Yeah, hey boss, I can't come into work today. Oh, what's wrong? I, just oh, got, I got the skysies. <laughs> it's because it's one syllable off scabies. I mean... <laughs> I was thinking it just sounded kind of wrong in general. You know? It sounds like the kind of thing where you'd have to wash your crotch a lot to fix it. There's the giant's hammer. <laughs> That's strangely timed. <laughs> hey, you gotta what? You know, that looks like it was meant to be wielded by the Green Titan. It's quite possible. <laughs> I mean, if, if over there we had the giant seat, which was a really big throne, or the giant throne. So it's very possible. The game never really defines how much of the skies of Arcadia was sky before the Reigns of Destruction landed. So, Just not a lot. Well, you never know. It could be this was an entire actual, like, an entire planet like Earth. There's also hints that it may have actually been sky the entire time. and Just there's a lot less landmass now. The, the game never really defines yeah. this. The way I think of it is more than likely it was a uh, loosely defined planetoid made of large chunks uh, sort of like I believe it's Rockstar and Kirby I think that's the one Popstar uh, no, no, wait, no, 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 Popstar, not no. Popstar no, no, right. there is a Rockstar and Kirby yeah, and it's the semi-shattered planet just big old hunks being kept together by still having central gravity is and that the one that Kirby likely... punched into shards? No, that oh, was no. on Superstar. I'm talking 64. Okay. But uh, anyway, I think that's what happened here, is they already had that, a cracked planet, and the Reigns of Destruction just dusted most of the more fragile parts. Could be. By the way, I'm going to have to LP those. I actually have that Kirby collection now, so I have six Kirby games I can do. Uh, you know what we should do? Co-op Kirby Superstar. You... I don't even know how we would do that. Z Superness online co-op. Hmm. hmm. So we're, this is where the yellow crystal is hidden. Man, we are just we we're just firing all cylinders. The crystal is made of pee. Just you know, given how our track record so far, this one's gonna come alive and nuke the world. Yeah. Yeah, surely you'll just drop down, grab the crystal, and walk away. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's I'd grand. like to see that in a game, you know? Just, you, know, you have to collect these 16 Eldritch MacGuffins that are guarded by... Wait, hold on. Here is the Lighthouse these? Ruins. With free confetti. And that, my friends, is the final discovery 
in uh, the, uh, where are we now, the southern, is it the southern sea? What is this called? North Ocean, okay. Couldn't remember where it was. Okay, guys, when we return next episode, there will be storyline. But until then, have fun. Happy sailing. Yay!